So everybody should have a pencil. If you lay this down like this, it'll give you an idea where to start. The rest of it's going to be up to you. If you want it crooked, if you want it straight, but it's only for reference. We're not going to do anything but that one little line. Just on the side or all the way across? All the way across. Okay, I'm going to give you this extender and two colors, and we're going to start with your sky. Hang on one second, let me get my line across there real quick. I'll give it to you, Jackie. Everybody's got their line on there? And they're all nice and straight? No. Like this? Right. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me get this stuff down. This is the fun part. A lot of extender and a little bit of paint. Well, I'm doing West Tennessee. It's a little bit flatter. It's flat. <laughs> well, you can also paint it as you go. Yeah. You can make it. It just came out. And just so you know, nobody's painting is going to look the same on this. Okay. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, I want you to pull out this brush. I can't see the number on it. Half inch. Okay. Now with this part you're going to play with. Start with your retarder. Put your brush in the retarder first, the extender. Then go in that blue color. And just start putting it on here like this. You're just going to start painting it. The extender. The clear extender. Yes. Then you're going to do the same thing in the darker color. And just start putting it in anywhere you want it. Mm -hmm. The whole sky with those two colors, back and forth. Back and forth, over top of each other, just sloppily put it in there. Every time. You want extender in the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Back and forth. Go in one color and then in the next color. So you get your whole sky done. Down to the line only. Stop at that line. I'm just going to start this bottle around. If you need more, get more and pass it on down. And I'll start one over here. If you need more, just get more and pass it on down. Your next step, once you finish that sky, we're going to start with white, only white and retarder. Extender, I'm sorry. You need a little darker because what's going to happen now, we're going to lighten it back up with the white. Okay, so you do, you're good. You do want to blend both of those colors in there as much as you can get them. Those two colors you have. Yeah. 
just the gray. No, I don't want you to use just the gray. I want you to go back and forth. Extender and one color and then extender and the other color. Extender and white is going to be your next step. Now, if your extender got into the other colors, don't stress about it. But this time, it's only white and extender. See how it lightens it up? Everybody see the corner of this, how it lightens it up? But it leaves that color behind there. So use white and extender only and just brush it across it. The whole entire thing? The whole entire thing. And that's going to bring forth those colors that you put on there to begin with. Okay. That's going to make them show up better. Make sure you got extender in there. That looks a little white. Good. Here, let's get you some more. If it's not going on smooth, get more extender. Okay. It's going to end up being like a light gray with some cloudy looking things coming through behind. You're building your sky. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Looks good. Okay, everybody's going to need to go dry them now when you're finished with that part. I have two blow dryers set up over here. Thank you. Are you, is yours dry? Start sketching your barn. Start sketching your barn. And you don't necessarily have to do it just like mine. If you want a shorter barn, if you want a wider barn, whatever you want. Start sketching your barn. Mm -hmm. Just the barn. Mm -hmm. Just the barn. If you want it wider, if you want it shorter, mine's kind of tall. Make sure it's dry though before you do it, okay? Very nice, yeah, I like that. And don't even stress about the left side because we're going to cover it with trees again. As long as you've got an idea of where it is. Dry it really good with a blow dryer. Oh, wait a minute. No, you haven't done your white. Yeah, I did. Let me see. I would kind of add some more. Just a little bit anyway. Yeah, just the white and the, and the extender. Kind of brighten it up just a little bit. Okay. Now you don't have to have it. Some people like shorter barns, and most of the time I do too. So it's going to be your barn, however you want it. Maybe, maybe falling down. That's okay. You can do that too. Okay, that looks better. Okay. Okay. Great. I'm giving you all this pretty red paint. No, you don't need extender on this because you've already got it in your sky. Just start painting your barn. Do not paint the roof. I like this one. Now, as you're painting the barn, try to go up and down instead of sideways on your last coat. If you're going to do more than one coat, go up and down. That gives you a board look. You've already got it on your sky. You don't need it again. Okay. Bring your board straight up and down. Okay. Mm -mm. Don't forget your little, this little guy. If you feel like you need more than one coat, put more than one coat. You want it solid. If you feel like you need to turn it upside down to pull that little shed in, feel free to turn it upside down.
Thank you, Jimmy. When you're cleaning these brushes, make sure you're going all the way down to the bottom of your water cup. Okay, you've already got white. Once your barn is red, come in and start painting your sky white. I mean the roof, yes, I'm sorry. I need more coffee. Yeah, don't paint the sky white. Paint your roof white. Yes, or switch brushes. Now on that left hand side, fake it. We're going to cover it up with trees anyway, so just fake it. Don't guess what you said. Yes. Do you have to dry it after the second coat? Yes. Lay your brush to pull it across to make that top as straight as you can get it. If it's easier, balance your little finger on your canvas. Holly, balance your little finger on your canvas to pull it straight across to make your top straight. The half inch. No, five eighths. Five eighths. And you don't really have to use the same brush as I say. If you're comfortable with a different brush, then you're more than welcome to switch brushes. Okay, lay that brush down. Look, pull it, turn it upside down, and pull it like this. <coughs> Use that brush. Use the sharp edge on those brush. Yeah. On all the brushes. My barn is gigantic compared to yours. That's okay. It's I told you none of them are going to look the same. Got a lot of cows in it. Hers looks like a shoe. Looks like a shoe? Okay, take a look at your angle here. You need a little angle. A little more angle. Yeah. Even if you bring it, I brought mine out quite a bit. So make sure you have an angle. Patty's got a great angle. No, it looks great. That one side's going to be hidden because we're going to put trees over there. But no, it looks great. Bring it out and slant it over here. Look, it's slanted. Okay, I'm going to give you these two colors. You have a soft black and you have an antique maroon. So you're going to come through the black a little bit, come through the maroon a little bit until you get it dark enough for your stripes. See how I've only loaded just the corner of that brush? Yeah. So now you're going to come over here and start putting your stripes in your barn and your shed. Okay. Okay. Yes. Do we do multiple? No, you're okay. good. Okay. We're going to put snow on top of this white, so as long as you get your coat on there good, you're good. Oh, yeah, anytime you want to bring anything in, feel free to bring it in. That's not good.
I'm using a little bigger brush because I'm Russian. So mine's not going to look nearly as good as yours. Mm -hmm. I made mine all different widths. Yeah, I did too. This bone's been taxed a lot. Okay, when you're putting those lines in, make sure you separate the shed from the barn. I haven't painted my snow on there yet either. Now what's causing this lighter shade? I've got white in my brush. Oh, okay. I just didn't get my brush all the way clean. The biggest brush you have, paint the snow on your ground. Okay, you got this blue. That gray. And there's your extender. Okay, put extender in there. You don't want it to be that heavy, okay? You got your snow on? Okay. You don't need to. We're going to put snow. It doesn't matter where you put it or how you put it. Okay. We're going to take this brush. We're going to dip in the extender first. And then I'm going to do gray first. See this through here? Put it anywhere you want it. And this, oh, we got red in the brush. I don't want red in the brush. You don't want to look like a dog that ran over? No. <laughs> so let's try this again. Look. <laughs> Extender in gray. Put it anywhere you want it, as messy as you want it. And then extender in the French gray blue. Put it anywhere you want it, as messy as you want it. We're looking for shadows. We need to dry the snow before we do that. No, you do not. Let's get this red brush out of here. So we're going to take this brush, dip it in the extender first, then in the gray, and start putting it in wherever you want it. Just lay it down and put it in there. Okay. Then come back with the extender and the French gray blue and start putting it in there wherever you want it. You can go by my picture there or you can put it anywhere you want to. There's no right or wrong. Now you'll notice on these watercolor papers, they're going to get a little bit, yes, they're going to kind of pull up on you and fold. See how mine's rolling? It's because we've got them so wet. Frame them and that's going to go away. Oh, you've got extender. Beautiful. Look at you. Hold that up and show everybody. Looks beautiful. Look at our shadows. Very nice. It's a shadow. See all those lumpies? Put a little extender and just kind of blend it down a little bit. Just a little, in places. Okay. All right. Do you remember how to shade? If you look out in the woods, on the ground it's really, really dark. Oh. That's what this is. Okay? So dip in the water. Tap it on your towel one time. Pick it up. Only load the sharp corner. So drag it on the side. Lay the brush down. There you go. Lay it down. If there's water in the brush that's going to pull that paint for you. Am I doing it right? Yep. You could go back and make it a little wider, not with paint, just with your brush. Mm -hmm. Lay the brush down. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. 
lay yeah, it down it like that. Mm -hmm. Now pull it. See how it winds it and it kind of feathers it out? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're going to turn your painting upside down. And see all these little stick things? Mm -hmm. Just the little stick things. You're going to start pulling. Big, small, it doesn't matter. The more water you have on there, the more it's going to work for you. Take the red brush, dip it in water, roll it in this, and just start pulling them down. Turn your paintings upside down to do this. Okay. When you turn it upside down, it makes it thinner at the top. Use this color. Add water. I'm getting a lot on this side. Pull them on both sides of your barn. Okay? You're going to roll it in this one with water and just start pulling them. The more water you use, the thinner you can get them. All right, I'm going to give you some burnt umber. Now you're going to do two. You're going to do this color and this color. The same exact way. Okay. Looks good. Yes, it doesn't matter. Don't try to miss those gray ones. Just put some in there. Looks good. Okay, now you're going to take that brown I gave you. Put your trees in there if you want to sketch them first. You can sketch them, the big trees. Put them anywhere you want them, however you want them. Just sketch them in there, just paint them brown. Looks good. If you're pulling it from the bottom like that, it makes your tree have more shape. You don't want a straight stick tree. They need to be fatter at the bottom. All trees are fatter at the bottom. I do the bottom parts without turn, then turn it and do the mm -hmm. branches. Right. And thin that in the water like we did for those little branches. Okay. You guys are so quiet. I know, I noticed that today. What's up with that? We have a camera? <laughs> this should be easy. See if you mix the water and you can just keep pulling it. It gets thinner and thinner. Okay, when I didn't make my roots for my tree tall enough. Oh, there's really no right or wrong any way you want it. I would make him a little thicker at the bottom. Isn't that nice? Now you can put as many trees as you want or as little. Have some of your limbs that overlap each other. Trees aren't perfect. Aren't they pretty? Huh? Huh? 
Okay, you're going to choose your light side. Now, because this is such a wintry scene, you can choose whichever side you want to be the light and the dark. So you're going to use a soft black. And on the trunks, you're going to start shading the shade. So if you put your shade on the right, then you're going to lighten it on the left or on the front. Now we're only doing trunks. We're not doing up in the limbs. You ready? Okay. This is the dark side. Mm -hmm. And this is your light side. Remember how we shaded before? You shade one side and lighten the other side. So if you put the dark on this side of all of them, then you got to put the light on the other side, whichever one you choose. You need more trees. You're going to put more over here? Okay, I'm going to come back to you then. Now, if you have not put your little white stripe across here, put your little white stripe across your, most of you have already. But if you have not, this is your door. So you're going to have to pick two. Yeah. Make them darker, and then your door opens. These two. Now, mine's here. Mine's here, and then my opening. That's your door. See my door? It opens here, here's a side, and here's a side. I've got an extra board on my door. Yes, I made it darker. Yes. That's it. That's where the barn door looks like. Okay. Put it on there. Yeah, put it on there. I didn't put mine on there yet. This is how Kentucky barn door Okay. okay. I'm going to have to make me a little plaque and put. Yours looks so good. You could. You could. It looks beautiful. Okay, thank you. Looks beautiful. Everybody's got a toothbrush, right? Yes. Does everybody have white paint? Okay, move everything from around you that you do not want white paint on. Take it and put it in your chair or put it somewhere. Everybody has white paint. You're going to take your toothbrush, stick it in your, you're going to need to stand up, okay? Take your toothbrush and dip it in your white paint. Just start dipping. Then you're going to start flicking it on your painting. Yes. So your, your fingers are going to be white. No, no water. No water. No water. Just start flipping it just like this. You're going to have it on you. If you need an apron, get an apron. Just start flipping it on there. Then you got too much. Oh, yeah, it'll go everywhere. You got too much paint on there. You made a mess. Okay, tap your paper towel. Just tap it, though. Only tap it. All over your picture, look, like this, like this, with your finger on the brush part. It's making straight lines. Then you're getting too much paint on there, like this. I don't have any paint on mine. All over. Pull it back. Look, pull it back like this, and just flip it. It's snow. Okay. This is your snow, though. This is my snow. Yeah. So now you're going to do a build-up snow. Say that again. You're going to build it up. We're going to build it up. Yeah. So take your, let's take this. Is this clean? Here. Look how heavy this is. It's pretty. Where'd you get that? Hobby Lobby. Build it up anywhere you want to. And if this brush is too small for that big space, like down here, you might use a bigger brush. That's an edge step, isn't it? It is. So put some across here, put some on there. Okay. Just start building it up. Okay. See how thick it is? Mm -hmm. So you're going to start putting it anywhere. Put it on here, put it on that, put it on that, then get a bigger brush and come down here and start putting some in there. Okay. Okay. Now for these, you can see I've, I put mine in a little frame 
so you can do whatever you want to with them, but they will tend to roll on you if you don't put them behind the glass. Okay. Okay. Everybody's looks like this, right? Seriously. Seriously, does it not? Yeah. Okay. We do these classes every month. We usually do three a month here. Uh, if you go on St. Clair Center website, they have the leaf in there. All the classes are listed. Each month we try to do something different. We do projects or we do acrylic techniques, which is teaching the technique like what you've done today. Every time we do a new technique class, we try to do a new product or a new surface or, you know, you learn something, right? Has everybody learned something today? I really appreciate everybody coming in, and I hope you'll come back in for another class. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you.